everybody. It is still Family Computer Mini Month here on the Video Game Chronicles Gameplays. Today I'm going to be playing Atlantis Nonazo, which was released in 1986 and this was the first game that Samsung ever did for the Famicom. And Samsung has done tons and tons of games for the Famicom slash NES, including Blaster Master, Buster's Quest, and Journey to Silius. Now, I've heard a lot of bad things about this game. However, I've not played it yet. And the only way I'm going to find out if it's bad or not is if I play it. And I'm going to find out if it's better or not today. Now, Pat the NES Punk said that Ice Climber was the game that he questioned on being in the NES Classic Edition. However, this could be the game that on the Famicom Mini was the questionable decision by Nintendo of Japan. However, I don't know that for a fact until I play the actual game. I'm going to be playing on my Famicom Mini. And you're going to find out how I did. So, here is my gameplay of Atlantis No Nazo. <laughs> Here we go. Now I see that there's a high score thing on the screen. But I'm not going to really care about the highest score in this game. At least get seven lives. Now I have seen some gameplay of this. Mm, trolls are fine. Whoa. I will say the controls are well responsive. That's at least a good thing. Well, oh, I died. Wow, so you can actually pause. <laughs> you can actually pause. Before you even play. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Do we have to get it? Okay, no. Whoa. Shoot. I hit the start button again. I get, oh, it doesn't work. Wow. <laughs> it didn't even hit me. Bird poop didn't even hit me. I probably should have jumped over. Okay. There we go. See, I'm fine with the controls. Controls are well responsive. That's at least a good thing. Whoa. Come on, fine, I'll just go down. Screw it. It didn't matter. I should have went down in the first place. I thought the controls were going to suck in this game, but no. Controls are fine. Controls are good in this game. That I will say. Come. Oh, good. <laughs> so if they stop, good. Get closer. Go. Yeah, good. I don't have much time. 
Oh, I got past it, thank God. <laughs> it is a playable game, I will say that. That's, whoa! Cheap, cheap. A cheap, cheap just tried to kill me. Oh, shoot. I didn't expect that. They're just like those cheap, cheaps in Super Mario Brothers. You get a lot of lives, that's, that's cool. No, I thought this was really going to suck. I, it doesn't suck as much as I thought. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Maybe it's a little slippery, but it's not too bad. Whoa. Oh, when you jump, the controls are a little slippery. Oh, shoot. I will say this. So far, it's not the worst game I've ever played. I'm surprised. I thought this was going to be even more terrible. Whoa. Whoa. Maybe if I get better with the game, maybe the... I hit the start button again. I can't believe that when you hit the start button, with the thing telling you your lives and stuff. Whoa, now that's it, game over. Four treasure chests, so that's my high score. Well, I have to go back to the beginning. Oh well. Shoot. If it wasn't for those bats, it'd be easier. The only real problem that I have with this game is the fact that you're going through endless mazes trying to get a higher score. That's pretty much it, but that's pretty much how it was with arcade games. Even though this wasn't originally an arcade game, this was exclusive to the Famicom. I'm going to jump over this. Cool. You gotta be kidding me. A dead end? Whatever I did, I did the wrong thing. So what happens if I go near it? Oh, that's what killed me. Okay. That's what killed me. Okay. Gotta avoid whatever I shoot. Shoot. I shouldn't have jumped there. It's a playable game, I will say that. Good news is, this is not the worst game I've ever played, and that's good. I've played even worse games than this. So far, this is a really hard call for me, in terms of recommendation or whatever not. Oh yes, that was awesome. I found out. Shoot your weapon to the door that is closed to open it. Now I know what to do now with those kind of doors. Can I shoot that? Can I shoot this? Good. Oh, it just takes me back. <laughs> oh my god. It just took me back to the first zone. <laughs> cool. Oh, so it 
so it wouldn't really matter if I met the first zone or not. Whoa. Is there a way to actually get through those? Maybe not. Maybe I'm stuck having to go through the second zone. But it is cool that I got those treasure chests. Oh well. That's probably what I have to do. I got a better score that time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we... I could actually go back, can I? <laughs> ah! At least it resets the timer, that's cool. Ouch! <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> this is a laughably bad game. I'm kind of enjoying it just for how, how fun that I'm having with this game. Whoa! I'm actually having fun with this game. Whoa. Okay, so it's not gonna really matter. It's... I'm gonna get that. Yeah. No, I'm gonna go down here. What better? Yes. See, the controls are fine. I'm not having any trouble with the controls. Whoa. That was close. Oh, I gotta rush. Good. Got out of there in time. At least I'm figuring out this game. Come on, get the door open. I want to explore! I want to explore! Dang it! At least I know that if you press down... Oh, shoot! That's not what I wanted to hit. I wanted to open that door so I can go in it. At least I'm figuring out that... What I do like about this game, and I'm going to say it, is the fact that there are multiple paths that you can take. I think that is cool. I do like that about this game. Get that. There we go. Come on. Yeah, and you do have a time limit for how long you can stay in the zone. Good. Get that down. Get it down. Get it down. Boom. I'm going to go to the ninth zone. Awesome. Awesome. 
I wonder what I picked up. This game, I'm gonna be quite honest with you, it isn't that bad. I'm kind of surprised about the gameplay. Gameplay isn't too bad and I'm surprised. Figuring this game out kind of helps. Helps the gameplay slightly. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. The only problem that I have is with the jumps when it comes to uh, angling myself. You know what? Screw it. If I can... Good. Okay, good. Bang. At least I figured out that I can make uh, my weapon much shorter distance by hitting the down button while I shoot. That is good. See, the only problem that I really have with the controls is with the jumping. He's a little slippery. That's my only problem with the controls. Besides that, it's well responsive. Got a rush though. The only other thing that sucks is that you have a time limit. That's the other thing that sucks. So you can't diddy daddle. Oops. See, this game is not that bad. As the, the problem is, is you don't know where to go to. You do have at least a chance to explore. If they got rid of that clock, I think this would have been a better game. No question about it. It would have been much more funner. It's not a. It's not that bad. It really isn't. I thought it was going to be much worse than. Uh, than people made it out to be. Whoa! See, that's my only problem with the actual game, plus the timer. Besides that, the game's fine. See, that's my only problem, is with when he uh, jumps, it's like you have no control. Besides that, the controls are fine. Oh, that was good. That was a good jump. Get the jump, get the jump, get the... Oh, shoot. At least I tried. Well, I think that's going to be it. So, here's my review of the game. Now, before I get to my review, I am giving Alanis Nonazzo, the Famicom Mini version, a green card. Now, even though I'm giving the Famicom Mini version a green card, that don't necessarily mean I'm giving the game a green card, because there are two big flaws with the game. Now, this was a start for Sunsoft, because later they made great games such as Blaster Master and Batman the Video Game, to name a few games. And this did have potential of being one of those. However, the two big flaws is what holds it back. And it, it actually holds the entire game back from actually being a good game, too. 
Now the graphics, the music tracks, the exploration, and the controls for the most part are fine. I did actually like the graphics, the music tracks, the exploration, and the controls for the most part. However, the problem with the exploration is the fact that you have a time limit. And if you don't move and you let the time run out, you can die. There's also one hit kills in the game too. But I'm not going to talk about that because that's not a big problem. The time limit is one of the big problems. And you have to move to get to the next door or come back to the door that you came in in order to reset the timer every single time. If Sunsoft would have gotten rid of that time limit, the game would have been a little more funner. However, there is one more problem with the game. And this is the biggest problem. And that is with the jumping. You have no control over your jump. So if you jump and you move right, you have no control. And as a result, you can't move left if you really want to. So as a result of the jumping and the time limit, I have to give the entire game a yellow card. Now, the big reason why I gave the Famicom Mini version a green card is because you have safe states just in case you mess up. So that way, you can actually go back and recorrect what you did wrong. And the Famicom Mini version, as a result, is the best version that you can get of the game. The cartridge version, no. Even though I will say it's not a bad game, the Famicom Mini version is better because you have those save states. And every single time you use those save states, they can be much more helpful to you. Now, I'm not going to say that the actual cartridge is a terrible game. No. Because the actual cartridge version, you could still have fun with it. And I'm, that's the reason why I'm giving the game a yellow card. Because I, I still had fun with the game even without the save states. And the exploration is still good. I just wish the time limit wouldn't have been in the game in the game for sure. So that's pretty much my review of the game. And I'm really sorry that it took me this long to actually get this particular episode up because I've been quite busy for the past week. However, though, I'm done. I reviewed the last no nazo, and there's two more games that I have to do. Two more games that I have to play, and hopefully they're a lot more fun. And I will say, Atlantis No Nazo, it's not a bad game at all. It really isn't. The problem that I had with the game was with the jumping for the most part. And if it wasn't for the jumping, I would have had a lot more fun. And it would have been a classic. I bet you the game would have been a classic if Sunsoft would have fixed the jumping. I really think so. Because, like I said, this game had a, the potential to actually be a classic. And it could have been released. I, I really feel that this is even better than Super Pitfall. Because this game was supposed to be released for the NES as Super Pitfall 2. However, that name never came to be. So that's pretty much my review of Alanis No Nazo. It's definitely better than Super Pitfall, I will say that. And there's just two more games that I have to play. So peace out, and I will catch you next time. Happy gaming.